morning. It's Tuesday, May 3rd, 2022. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for your journey today. Our devotion today is entitled, The Day Saul Saw the Light, and our scripture is Acts chapter 26, where the good Dr. Luke writes about the Apostle Paul's trial. One day I was on such a mission to Damascus, armed with the authority and commission of the leading priests. About noon, your majesty, as I was on the road, a light from heaven brighter than the sun shone down on me and my companions. We all fell down, and I heard a voice saying to me in Aramaic, Saul, Saul, why are you persecuting me? It's useless for you to fight against my will. Who are you, Lord? I asked. And the Lord replied, I'm Jesus, the one that you are persecuting. Now get to your feet, for I have appeared to you to appoint you as my servant and witness. Tell people that you've seen me and tell them what I will show you in the future. And I will rescue you from both your own people and the Gentiles. Yes, I'm sending you to the Gentiles to open their eyes so they may turn from darkness to light and from the power of Satan to God. Then they will receive forgiveness for their sins and be given a place among God's people who are set apart by faith in me. Paul the Apostle was called Saul before Jesus renamed him. At the time of his conversion, his purpose in life was to persecute the church. It seems odd that one who preferred violence for the followers of Christ would become one and later defend that faith in Christ with his life at stake. It's tempting and perhaps easier to just dwell on the mystic trappings of Paul's conversion story. You know the story, a blinding light from heaven, the voice of a resurrected Lord Jesus redirecting Saul's life. Or you could draw some interesting parallels like a man blinded by Jesus and having his sight restored by a miracle prayer. These are a rather safe academic exercise which carry no burden of personal action or change. They're simply good story with a happy ending, the misguided guy fiercely persecuting the good guy. He's confronted, he's humbled, he turned into a good guy who eventually gets persecuted by the guys who used to support his persecuting the original good guy. (laughs) Sounds a little soap opera-ish or Hallmark movie-ish. So what's the takeaway from the day Saul was not only blinded by the light, but eventually saw the light. Well, I believe it's in the trial. Paul is on trial for heresy, which carried a death sentence in those days, not a contract with Netflix to tell your story at a blog and Twitter follower crowd in the millions. The trial allowed Saul, now Paul, a defense. And with an adroitness that any sharp lawyer would envy, Paul didn't mince words. He relied on only two simple principles in laying out his entire case, truth and witness. In the truth department, Paul told the judges who he was, a persecutor of the church who met the Jesus of the church and was converted. And in the witness department, Paul stuck to what had happened to him, how God had to blind him in order for him to see that to which he'd chosen to be blind, the love of God that offered Paul and all of us salvation and eternal life. And then he rested his case, trusting God for the outcome. For you today... Paul gave us the ultimate strategy and modus operandi, God's formula for being a witness of truth, the truth. What a disciple of Jesus should live for, sharing the truth with others about what God wants for each of us. It's tell your story, rest your case, trust God for the outcome. It's as simple as that. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road with Jesus. Have a blessed day.